Well, I've just been up the garden and I have picked the cucumber, see what it tastes like. It's a bit prickly, so I think I might have to take the skin off it. Uh, I don't know what variety I put in, I just some seeds I've got instead of me having to buy. And my first blueberries, I've got three, and these are seed pods that I am uh, starting to save seeds from. Afternoon everyone, and welcome to the summer house on the coolest day of summer. It's been beautiful. Uh, overcast, little tiny bit of um, sun come out every now and again. Nice cool breeze, really nice. Not cold, just nice. And um, I've been shopping to get supplies for the next project. And I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, lots of things, lots of things to show you. Right, let's let's show you. The summer house has turned into a drying room and a seed collection room. So these are calendula and these are drying out. We've got some more over there that's more dried out. And these ones are more to the stage that... Oh, God, my hand's in the way. My hand's always in the way, isn't it? Where you just knock off. The flower, the the petals, and that can be thrown away now. Um, there might be some seeds in there, but because that one looks like it's formed, so I'll check that before I throw it away. But these are picked before the flowers uh, have uh, started to die off when they're in full flower. So we're just waiting for all them petals to dry out. So I'm saving the petals to make oil. Um, and make or a balm for you, for my skin. So that's that project. This is daily, daily is drying out. And hopefully I've not picked them too early. But we've got plenty more going over. So I can... Uh, uh, if I have, I can get them. Now, these are interesting. Hold on, let me uh, just get them open for you. Now, the reason these are covered up is because you can see in the bottom, I don't know if you can't really see, there you are, right in that corner. See them little seeds? Right. Watch me end up with seeds all over everywhere. Yeah. Right, this one's not quite dry enough, thank goodness. When these dry, if you can see, whether you can, I can get it close enough to see, see like they've got grooves. Well, when they completely dry out, they suddenly go with a pop, and those grooves split, and the whole stem twists and flings seed everywhere. And... Uh, so, unless you want seed all over the floor, you need to cover them up. So that's why these are covered up. So these are Californian poppy seeds. And they're very, very easy to grow. They don't mind... Um... Oh, yeah, put them back to dry off. They don't mind the heat, they don't mind not having much water, um, they do grow quite small if they don't have an awful lot of water, but they do, still will grow, they'll grow in cracks of walls, anywhere where there's a little tiny bit of soil or moisture, they will grow, and they give a beautiful display. So I'm saving the seeds, so I've got lots of different colours, so I'm trying to go round the garden and as I see the seeds pods um, starting to dry out, I've been picking them. So they will be perfectly all right. So I've got, let me cover these back up. It's more important to cover them up when they're drier. I've got in here three layers. So they will dry out nicely. 
and then I've just got a lid just to kind of put over the top but leave a give a bit, bit of a gap like that for that one which will go on top of there to hold them down so I don't get seeds all over everywhere here we have some more so these have been sat like this on the plant for ages so they, they're not started to dry yet but I think they will do uh, now they're in here so I picked them that's a plant that I don't know the name of um, I bought a selection of bulbs uh, once and stuck them in and this comes up every year so that's that one now these are nasturtium seeds and each seeds only about like this but when you take it off the plant it's like this it can be bigger than this as well you can have loads more you can have a great big clump of them and as they dry out they just split up like that. so I have got some nasturtiums that are trailing I've got some nasturtiums that are uh, what you call it variegated leaf and um, lots of different colors so um, like I was saying we've, I've got uh, lots of different types of nasturtiums um, they are the one of the easiest flowers to grow as well uh, if they don't get an awful lot of water, so excuse my hand, I was trying to uh, adjust the camera. If they don't get an awful lot of water, they only go small again. Um, I've got some growing out of the rock, I'll take you up and show you. Um, they come in lots of different colours and some are like trailing, climbing type of ones. They creep along the floor, um, they'll go up a wall, down a wall, wherever you want to shove them. Uh, they don't mind uh, bad soil, uh, they still seem to come. If if they'll grow on the top of that banking where my wall is, they'll they'll grow anywhere. They grow out the wall, a seed will drop into just a crevice of the wall and next thing you know you've got an nasturtium coming out of it. Um, so another easy plant to grow if you're new to growing flowers and you want something um, that uh, is easy. Um, so you can't really go wrong with them too for easy flowers there is lots of other easy flowers but easy flowers and easy to take the seeds off um i'll show you uh, some of last year's seeds so you can see them dried out just a minute this is my seed box so for big seeds i use these make sure they are completely dry before you put the lid on so like i said if earlier that is the dried out nasturtium seed and just because you get a small one don't mean to say it won't come you can get a good plant off a little one so they're last year's and I lost them I couldn't find them um, actually found some more and some new packets some packets that I got in used all them up but I quite often find boxes of these as soon as I see them coming on the plants, I collect them um, and store them away. And I'm being more organised this year. All the seeds are going in one place. And sometimes I find them from three or four years back and they still come up. So that is them. Move them. Here, these in this plastic bag are from my mum's. I have ordered some special seed bags. These are aquilegious, and that's where the seeds come from. So in the bottom of this bag, bag should be, there they are, if you can, oops, if you can see because of the light, that black, all that black in that corner, there's lots of seeds and they've all fell out of them. So this one must be, hold on, I don't know which one we've got. I think they're aquilegia seeds as well. Um, I have a habit of bringing calendulum seeds from my mother's. Picking them and never putting them in. But this year they've gone in. So these might... No, these are marigold. This is another easy plant to save seeds from. The calendula 
um, because as it gets further into the year and the big seed heads come on the calendula, the obvious, you can really see them, so they're easy to take. And so are marigolds. You just pick the flower, let it dry, and then it just falls all into these. And the black and white, the seeds, the little, if I can find, I'll get one on my hand. Ugh. I dropped it. That was clever. There you are, look. Black at one end, white at the light, well not white, but you know, a lighter colour at the other end. And that is the seed. So they're marigold seeds and you can get loads of different types of marigolds. Um, the French marigold, which um, tends to be littler, the African marigold that grows really tall. So this is my um, selection of tubs. And I have just bought some more. Let me just stretch over and get them for this year for the bigger um, seeds. And I'll show you what else I bought today. Labels. But then I found these in the pound, one of the pound shops. And they tie wrap type things, but they're very, very thin. And they feel a little bit like wire. And they're to go through the holes in these, there. And then I can fasten around the stems of my dahlias so I don't lose my labels. So that is the next job to write all the labels out and put them all on my dahlias. So this is the Californian poppy. It's, uh, these flowers aren't out at the minute, but if you can see, that is the seed pod that I'm cut, cutting off. So it's easy enough, and just snip it off there. Uh, once it's big, it's got to get big, big like this. If it started to dry out even better. And this is the nasturtium. I can tell you, I was start again. This is the nasturtium I was telling you about that will grow anywhere. I mean. There's not much soil down there, just a bit I've probably dropped on top of the slabs and it's growing. Now this is a, a, like a trailing, creeping nasturtium and this is what it does. It's planted way back in there and it's just climbing out here. It had plenty of water, plenty of food so it goes mad. All the way up here look and all the way up here these nasturtiums and the climbing up the back of this um, coal frame. In fact, they're inside the netting lot. Look at this. There's even a flower in there. So this type of nasturtium will climb if you want it to. Or climb over something to cover, hide something. Here we have the, a white Californian poppy. Oops. Get hold of it. So um, that'll have the seed pods start small like that look and grow long and thin. This is the variegated nasturtium and it, this one is a like a yellowy, ambery colour. Then I've got a darker one. This is like the normal nasturtium that just grows in a, a bush. And... Um, which is over here, look, it's not so big because it's in poor soil, but it still grows. This soil is terrible because these, what we've cut down, have uh, taken all the goodness out of the soil. And I haven't put anything much in it to help help them. I've just uh, stuck these in and they've come. So there's some more over there. And talking about taking seeds, this I showed you this um, when I came back on Friday. Look, it's over already. Now I'm going to take that off. Now I'm going to put that to dry, and the seeds should drop out of that. There's another one. I've only got two, so I'm going to when that 
that uh, does the same, dries out. I'll take that one as well. You can see the climbing nasturtiums, they're growing up the sides of all these uh, uh, blackberry and uh, not blackberry, blackcurrant bushes. And uh, they're very good for attracting black fly. So if you want to stop black fly going on some other plants, plant nasturtiums around them and they attract black fly. Got a really pretty one down there, you can't see it, it's too far away. It's a beautiful, like, um, yellowy orange colour. I don't know whether I'm able to find any seeds in here. What's this one? This might be. Is that it? No, it's not gone far enough. This one down here. There it is. Oops. There we are, look. That is the seed there. So if I just pinch that off so I can show you. Oops, too close. There look. So that's all you need to collect. And they will sprout up next year. Really good. Lendula. This one I've missed. There we go, look. All them, there, that way. All them little things they're the seeds so all you have to do is dry that out all right with the dahlias this part here the back that's where all the seeds will be so you need to leave them to dry and to form it's a bit difficult to tell with these big ones but i'll go i'll climb over and show you some of the littler dahlias this is another Californian poppy and there's still loads on this I've cut loads off but I'm leaving these to try and um, get them to come on this banking these are self setters from a previous year now these people might think these are buds but they're not these have already had flowers on you see the flower on the end so these will be full of seeds That one's already had flowers on. This one I've opened up a little bit just to prove that it's not. All, right, all in there, it's going to fill up with seeds. But you've got to let it dry out. So this one is absolutely full. Look at all these. They look like, really do look like the buds, don't they? But they're not, it's already flowered. Yeah, look, see? Yeah, that's a flower. The flowers will drop off and then that just tightens itself up and dries out. See, you would dead out all these so you get new flowers come. But I am leaving some of these a bit longer so I can use them for seed. Because uh, newly ones that's gone over I dead head, but they was they've gone over wiping on already, so I thought I might as well save them. So it's quite a few that I'm going to save. I might put uh, netting bags around some of them to remind me which ones I'm going to save. I am stood up here on this banking. I thought I'd just have a nosy at me. These apples, these apples are Bramleys, so they're not supposed to be red like this. It's the heat, but. I'll have to come and take them off. And as I spun round, there's two pairs down there. I didn't think there was any uh, blossom came on that pair. Two little pairs. I've got to get down there and show you. First pairs ever. Down this wall. Look, that's another nasturtium just growing out of a crack. They grow everywhere. And another heat damaged plant, even though it gets a bit of shade. From this wall, it's looking a bit bedraggled. It's pal, this side seems fine. All right, if we can get to these um, pears without me breaking my neck. My daughter has just come out and said, stop climbing around like a teenager on that wall. That good when your daughter comes and says things like that to you. 
Can you see the pairs? One, two. That's all I've got, but I didn't have any last year. This I bought this uh, plant last year as a bare root, and uh, I've put it into the ground. This is, it was in a pot last year. This year it's in, into the ground, and I didn't think it was doing very well. But um, that's some sort of insect has laid its eggs on there, so that's coming into the house with me.